Welcome back to the studio of Art by Wendy. Today, I have something a little different to talk to you about. Easy ways to generate interesting and engaging content. Yes, I know it's a little bit different from what I normally do, but you know, now is the time. I know right now you'd rather be painting, and believe me, I'd rather be painting too. But sooner or later, we've got to address the big issue, and that's social media and how to promote our work. I have discovered some really neat things that helps me generate lots of content that's interesting and engaging. And so I want to share that with you. So let's put all these paints away and let's get to work. First of all, there's some universal truths that you need to know that have to do with working on social media. For our viewers looking for when they're going online. Think about that. It's entertainment, inspiration, and education. And if you think about it, that's probably the reason that you're on there as well. Well, of course, other than promoting your work. The other thing you need to think about is what sets your creative work apart from others? So I'm not just talking about painters, I'm talking about all creative people at this point. And what sets you apart is you your process and your work. Because your work and your process and you are unique. What you offer to your arts is unique from every other person. So those are two universal truths that you need to keep in mind as you prepare your material. Now, the other thing you need to do is to give every post the WIFIT test. And what is the WIFIT? The WIFIT is what's in it for them because don't forget social media is social you need to be presenting material that's entertaining inspiring and educational and that's what people are looking for and you i'm here to tell you you can do that easily because of your creative process and your work and you together you provide you can provide that kind of content. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is have a little bit of a plan. And I put together this um, mind map here that will help you plan your strategy for what you're going to do and how you're going to present it. And so that your posts have a strategy and they have a direction. They're, and they're they're not single standalone posts. They need to be hooked together and a sequence of events. Because let's face it, we can't post all the time. We're a single business, but we can do things like a, a campaign and, and have a series of posts that all have a central strategy. And that's what I want to show you today. Now, my little mind map here is available. If you look online at the... Um, uh, below you'll find the uh, link to it and, and along with this I will have some other notes that I think will find very useful and very helpful in generating this interesting and engaging content. So the first thing you need is your purpose or your goal. Now here my purpose and goal which I'm going to show you today is to promote my picture that I've just finished completing and that is Rocky Shores of Hicks Lake. And it's an ink drawing on a 12 by 24 wood canvas. Now, I just want to make a little clarification here. I am going to show you examples of my campaign and what I've been doing when I filled out my sheet. And the reason I'm showing you my work is not because I think it's so wonderful. I do think it's some good examples. But at the same time, I don't want to get involved in copyright issues by showing other people's work. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. All right, so once I have my purpose and goal, which is to promote this new picture, the next thing I need to do is look at content posts. So here I put some bubbles. My first um, content post is going to be about the actual setup and getting started with the drawing. So let's have a look at what that looks like. Hey, just getting ready to start my new project. 
This is uh, some rocky shoreline where I was camping last summer. And I've done my uh, value study to see how it's going to be. So now I am working on my design because it's all going to go on this piece of wood. I think it's going to be kind of neat. I'm very excited about it. Great little promotion for my new art piece, showing my work in progress. There's your entertainment, a little bit of inspiration, and certainly some education. Okay, let's look at the next post. There we go, 20 seconds. Again, looking at my um, work in progress, presenting my artwork in a different way, catching your attention. Eyes are always caught by seeing hands moving, thing, body parts moving, things like that. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Wow, I am getting so excited. My rocky shore at Hicks Lake is really, really coming alive. Man, now this piece was even more. You can see my picture is coming into complete towards completion, but 17 seconds, I managed to catch your attention, give you some entertainment value and inspire you. Plus, starting to build real anticipation for the finished piece. Have you met my helpers? Yes, these rocks are helping me with my shadows, shapes, and edges as I work on my drawing of the rocky shore of Hicks Lake. That was a pretty good eye catcher, eh? Only 15 seconds got you to stop, look, and listen. These are the kind of things that I'm, I'm talking about. A little bit of entertainment, a little bit of humor, shows off your process. You can see how things like this would be interesting for people to watch online. Okay, this one I want you to take a look at because yes, I do sell work and this is kind of an example of a soft sell. It's past the test, my rocky shores of Hicks Lakes. I've finished it a week ago, I've been studying it, and now I really do think it's ready to be sealed. Now, for this one, you saw 17 seconds. Again, it was a soft sell, and it goes, it's hooked up with the strategy and purpose that I'm following along to promote this picture of the rocky shores of Hicks Lake. Started off with process, anticipation, building up as you see things in progress. So there is that sense of education and entertainment happening in each of those posts. Now let's look at the finish post. What I would do is what I would call a hard sell. It's done. It, everything is sealed, the back, the front, everything's ready to go. And here it is, Rocky Shores of Hicks Lake. Now you can see in this post, 18 seconds, I've definitely caught your attention. It's a hard sell if you notice, I have the price there, the name of the picture, but at the same time, it's still a gentle way of sharing with you the process, getting you to um, a sense of entertainment happening there, maybe even a little bit of inspiration. And it's a more interesting way to present the picture instead of just picture. So now you will find that creating content does take time and posting, no question about it. However, I think you'll find if you use this um, sort of web, the, uh, planning web that I've put together, and I do have some notes to go with it, and uh, I do ask you to check the links below because um, that will take you to that, and it's a PDF and you're welcome to download it. Now, be sure and tag me when you do your post and I'll go in and have a look at it and uh, like and comment, give you a like and comment to help you with your analytics. 
And of course, I do hope that you will return the favor and come into my um, postings and hit one and give me some likes and a few um, comments. That would be great. Anyway, look forward to seeing you online. Look forward to seeing you hook up and uh, get the reference. And I hope this is helping you to create some interesting and engaging content. Make your posts a lot more powerful. Wendy teaches outdoor sketching classes in the summer and she teaches in her studio and online throughout the year. Wendy produces original work in pencil and in watercolor. She completes commission work, particularly pet portraits, and produces cards and prints from some of her work.